In this screencast, I'm going to show how the connection profiles uh, work. Uh, this feature um, allows you to connect to remote machines where PA server is uh, installed and to uh, run and debug uh, applications on those uh, remote machines. So uh, I'm going to show how you can create, edit, delete, export and, and manage all the connection profiles in, in the ID. And uh, the main tool or the main option uh, is located on Tools Options dialog and is a, an, an option called Connection Profile Manager. In this case is, is empty. So if I want to connect uh, a, remote, uh, a remote machine which uh, is running PA server, like in this case, here is running uh, PA server, what I need to do is just click Add here, enter some uh, profile name, for example, MacBook, and the platform uh, for which uh, or where the um, uh, PA server is running, in this case, uh, OS X. Okay. Then I need to enter the uh, IP address of the machine where PA server is running. You can easily get it using the, the command uh, I, in this case, is this one. Then you can paste it here. You can enter a password, in this case I'm running PA server without any, any password. And then you can directly test the connection uh, directly here on this wizard. So, uh, as a succeed. And that's it. Uh, you can get it this way. There are, there are other ways um, for you to um, add new connection profiles, for example, just imagine there are no uh, profiles here. If you create a new application and that application is for um, we are going to run that application for OS X which requires to have a connection profile to the to the Mac machine where we want <coughs> sorry to run our application. As you can see there is any any profile here to run. So if I run that application we are about to deploy it and run it because there is no connection profile uh, assigned to it. Uh, the ID requests uh, to to create that profile. So we are going to create it also here. Paste the IP. Everything is correct. And when I finish the deployment and running of uh, my application, is performed. Okay. So see here, this is the the empty app to exit. Okay, um, there is another way I'm going to remove this connection profile. If I right click on the on the target platform, if uh, I select properties, here I can choose the SDK uh, we want to use and also the profile we want to use. So there is a, another option or a, another way to add a connection profile directly from here. So this also fires the, the wizard to get the connection profile created and assigns that profile to the platform we have here. Okay, and there is a fourth way which is on the SDK manager. I will explain this on, on the next uh, post. But basically, if I add a new SDK for, uh, for example, the OS X platform, I can choose an existing connection profile I get to copy the SDK from that machine or add a new profile directly from here. Okay, So this is also perfectly possible and it uses that uh, connection profile to offer me the list of SDKs I have on that remote machine. Okay, so I'm going to cancel this one. These are the four ways uh, you are able to to add new connection profiles to to the ID. Okay, Let, let's talk about the defaults. As you can see here, uh, this is in bold, and that means that this connection profile is is the default one. So, if I change the default setting to this one, the project uh, changes to, 
to the profile I have set to default unless I specifically I change it to some other profile so this is very handy where you just have uh, one machine and or several machines and you set one as default or your projects if you create any other project for OSX or any other platform which has uh, profiles okay then I get uh, automatically assigned the default profile uh, I have set on the connection profile manager okay so there is no need for you to uh, manually assign in the, the profile you want you just uh, set the default setting and that's it you can also set the default setting when uh, you create a new profile for that platform this one you can just click on this uh, checkbox and once you add it you will get that uh, profile to be uh, the default one so press ok and that's it um, in order to remove profiles the only way to do it is uh, using the connection uh, profile manager here and this is where you get your profiles deleted okay. you press ok there is any profile defined here and for editing profiles uh, the connection profile manager is, is the place for you to do it there is another feature that uh, is very handy where when you are working on a development group which is to export connection profiles let's add one and here you have uh, two buttons export and import we are going to export this connection profile to the desktop um, let's see let's show what is the code this is a simple XML file which contains all all the properties needed um, to import this profile in a different machine okay I'm going to delete this one you can send this file to any colleague and then get the, con the connection profile recreated so this feature comes uh, very handy and basically that's it uh, just remember this is uh, a feature which allows you to connect to remote machines for OSX or if uh, just imagine your ID is running on Win32 and you are developing uh, Win64 applications you will need to run PA server on the Win64 machine and you can run uh, the 64 uh, applications you are developing on that remote machine and this is applicable to OSX uh, machines and, and to iOS uh, applications for iOS applications you create profiles of OSX type this is the, the platform or the operating system or for the remote machine so for iOS uh, you need uh, an OSX uh, connection profile and that's it thank you